Welcome everybody back to the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center here on the St. Cloud State campus of here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. It is the 2010 Boys Championship of the 2024 Minnesota Selects Hockey Festival. I'm Brent McKenzie here joined at Center Ice by Luke Burmis. We've got a couple other cameras going today. We've got Gavin Beckwith and Bennett McKenzie. They are manning some cameras here for us today. Well, let's take a look at these two teams. We have got the North and the West. The first time the West has been represented today in this championship series. We expect a great matchup between these two teams. Their previous meeting That would have been, let's see, I think it was on Friday evening, Friday afternoon that those two of them met. North getting one goal, West getting two, so it was West on top of North by a score of two to one. We've had four games here today so far. All but one of them was very, very close, closely contested. We're expecting more of the same here this afternoon. Check in with our teams. North head coach, Bart Olick, delivering his message to his team. course right next door we've got Bernie Knox delivering his message the West head coach well, I suppose we were almost fully prepared for this matchup this is not East versus South technology works pretty slick we're gonna go North versus West We'll get our colors changed up here in just a moment. But for the time being, we are set and down here for the first half of hockey in our last, our fifth and final game of the day. 25 minutes of stop time action on the board. Starting goaltender for the West, number 30, Elliot Leja or Leja. I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced. It's from Champlin Park is young Elliot starting for the north Weston Ream from Moorhead Minnesota quick save there from Ream We're going to have a penalty. It's number five. I'm sorry, it's number 15 for the West. Brody Rouser from Rogers, Minnesota. He's going to the box for two minutes. So it'll be North going on a quick power play to open this game. North starting here on the power play. West chasing in, that's number 17 for the West. William Blido from Andover, he was in on the four check. That's Griswold, number 11. He's out of Proctor. Jackson Hardy, also from Proctor. He plays it to the line. He collects again. Shifty player, a little Hardy. Over to Griswold. Griswold. 
Oh, it's number three, Zukov. Zukov coming here from Hermantown. Shot, what, short side angle, beautiful little shoulder save. Coming from Lehav, Champlain Park. Fed out to neutral ice. North would go on the regroup. North wearing the black. Working left to right across your screen. West wearing the white. They're working right to left across your screen. North breaking in through the center, going back door. Shot coming. Pad save. Shot from a wide angle, blocker saved there. Off of Reams blocker. Now it's Griswold. Playing at number six. Cogswell out of Andover. Cogswell with speed up on the inside. Cutting to the middle, forehand shot, stick save. Out in the neutral ice, wow, uh, that is the West. Full strength, 22.08 left in the first half. 0-0 zero, zero your score. North not converting on its first power play opportunity of the afternoon. along the half wall, sent into the center. North is going to pick it up. Nice pinch there from number seven from the west. Dylan Knox out of Andover. Landon O'Donnell from Roger, or I'm sorry, from St. Cloud, hometown. We have two hometowners out there today. Landon O'Donnell and number 14, Trevor Hall. Shot, pad save. Beauty little kick save there. Coming off of Reams pad. We'll take a look at that as soon as we get a stoppage of play. 20.52 left in the first half. If this is your first game of the day, you may not be aware that this is a armed services themed Festival. This is the 36th edition of the Minnesota Selects Festival. Each of the four regions of the state, northeast, southwest, being represented by a different branch of the armed forces. So here we have North playing under the banner of Army. West, the Air Force. East played this weekend as the Marines. And it was the South there for the Navy. 2010 left in the first half. Fed out to the line. North shot blocked. He got stung. That's number 15, Brody Rouser from Rogers. Appears to be okay. Still hobbling just a touch. Turnover low in the zone. Here comes big number 11. That's Alex King out of Rogers. Feeding it across. It's just ahead of the mark. I believe that was heading for Cameron Gustafson of Elk River. I believe that's number four. Now lots of speed coming there from Zane Medlin, Duluth East. Medlin with the big shot. Medlin had a younger brother playing in today's tournament. Shot goal! North gets on the board first. It's a rebound. Just shoveled in there. Get a great second look here from the corner. Right off the faceoff. Here's the pad save, just sneaks in through the five hole.
comes number nine, Branton from Rogers. Rogers represented well here on this West team. Face off one by the West, out to Knox. He feeds it down low. Back to Knox at the point. Back along the half wall. That was Tyler Witt from St. Michael, Albertville. And Bouton to neutral ice. No icing as they will catch up with this one. Batted up along the wall. West playing it to the center. Picked up by big number 10, Landon O'Donnell. Centering pass. He didn't get all of it. Now Coswell, his shot blocker save. Reem coming up with some nice stops here. Couple connections of note here for this West team. Joseph Christian, his dad played for UMD. Christian playing out of Elk River. Dad, a former Bulldog. We also have broadcast ties here to number two. That's Jake Burmis out there from Rogers. Dad, very much involved. Mitch as the Minnesota Selects West director, but sure enough, all day up here in the broadcast booth, we've got Luke Burmis, his older brother, manning the tripod at center ice. He's done a great job for us, and we appreciate the effort. That shot goes wide. We've got 17.06 left in the first half. Here's a one on one break for the West. Lost the handle on it. Picked up by number 15, Brody Rouser, but the net was knocked off its moorings. We'll get an offensive zone faceoff for the West. I'm sorry, they're going to take this out in a neutral ice. All right, folks, sorry for the slight interruption there. We, every now and again, you press the wrong button and boom, lights go out. Not to worry though, we missed probably about 25 seconds of little consequence hockey here. We got 15.56 left on the clock here in the first half. There's Burmis, younger brother of cameraman Luke. It's Jake Burmis. His shot goes up over the net. Number nine, Branton feeding it towards the center. Wick out to the point. That's Zilmer playing the point. That one rings off the side of the goal and back out to Wilmer at the point. Zilmer, pardon me, he shoots, he scores! A seeing eye shot through traffic, and the West have tied it up. There's the shot, just gets through, finds the back of the net. There's the shot, loads up, just catches that top corner. Beats Ream on the blocker side. And this is a one-to-one -one championship game with 14.55 
left in the first half. North, snappy breakout pass. Interrupted as they cross the red line. And sat back, sent back in for Trevor Hall of St. Cloud, hometown boy. Turnover, it's number eight for North. Owen Wright, he's out of Moorhead. Owen Wright's dad, he played for St. Cloud State. Right here is a Husky. He's also the assistant coach over there on the North bench. 14 minutes left in the first half. This one played out through neutral ice. Snap D to D. Carlin Ream from Alexandria. Now it's a shot blocked there. I believe that's number six with the block. No, it's number five. Andrew Fritsch from Moorhead that made the block. Wright feeding it up through the center. Now Wright gets it right back. And he goes for his change. Number 15, Brody Rouser. Onto his forehand, lost it as he was coming through. Ream, he flushes it away. Puts back behind the net by Rafe Griswold of Proctor. Knox battling hard in the near side with Fritsch. Great camera angle there, right down up close. Camera, camera work there from Bennett McKenzie. Now North sends it across the zone. 15. Boga, uh, that's Bugalosi. Bugalosi out of Hermantown. 12-26 left in the first half. This one goes up into the netting. We'll get a stoppage of play. Burmis working up along the wall. Knocked away there, number 14. Logan House of Rock Ridge. Played out by Laurel Lorilla from Moorhead. That's Henry Lorilla. His father played for Michigan Tech, D1 hockey player. His brother currently in the National Development Program. A strong pedigree there in the right. Out of Moorhead. Now here's a shot that goes wide. Rebound scores! West back on top here. This one's two to one. There's the first shot, rings off the back of the glass, rebound right onto the stick. Branton pointing to his man. So with 11-10 left in the, this first half, West on top, two to one, shots reading 10 to seven in favor of the Air Force West. All four regions are represented here in championship on Championship Sunday. But it's West just appearing here in this 2010 game.
Ashworth, number 12. He's out of International Falls. Number five, Wick. He played it around. That was on the stick of O'Donnell. Now skating up by number 16 for the North, Will Olick, Duluth East. Now speed on the outside coming from number eight, Braden Branson. Goes right through the paint. I'm sorry, that's number eight is Blake Mil um, Liner from Spring Lake Park. My mistake, Liner from Spring Lake Park. Really move. It was right out of Moorhead battling along the wall. That one's flushed back by Hardy. Snapped across. Shot coming through off the stick of Gustafson from Elk River. Gustafson finds it. Tried to go back door from behind the net. Just off the mark. Now King, centering pass. Picked up there by Dylan Knox out of Andover. Now King, he'll come up through center ice. Big King, his shot. Blocker saved it off the pice, post. <laughs> when you get half pipe and half post, you get piced. Nice stop there from Dylan Knox. Into the skates. Picked up on the stick of number 15, Brody Rouser from Rogers. 15, Bugol Bugolski. Bugliosi. Bugliosi from Hermitown. Jo Joseph Christian, Elk River, and there's a shot. One time, but Christian wanted another swing at it. The jersey on 15 says Kukowski. The program reads Bugliosi, but it is Kukowski. Kukowski from Hermantown, not Bugliosi. Out to the point, glove save. Puck near the top of the circles. 7.05 left in the first period. Nice save there on the short side. Weston Ream standing up tall.
Puck pulled into the center. Fought after here by the North. Nice back check there. That was from Wick. There's Burmis. Burmis tried to cut to the center. He's going to find the puck in the near corner. Burmis going back against the grain. Net is off its moorings. Play continues. We'll get a whistle with 16, or I'm sorry, 613 left in the second half of this 2010 championship. Team Brandon White, a nice job of knocking that one out of midair. Now it's Ream out of Alexandria. We've got a Ream from Moorhead and a Ream from Alexandria. And that one is offside, so we will have a neutral zone draw with 5.43 left in the first. Nice break out there for the West. It's King onto his forehand. Wide angle shot, pad save right up the slot. Picked up there by number 17, Jackson Hardy from Proctor. North with speed. Number 11, Rafe Griswold of Proctor. He goes in on the four check. Reem sends it in through the slot. Picked up there by Rouser. Rouser tried to get through traffic, ends up on the stick of King. King goes to Rouser back door, it's just off the mark. Lovely effort there by the West. Now it's Griswold and Knox in a race. Knox wins it. Plays it back over to Cogswell. Knox with speed. On the back check, now on the four check. And we've got some transition hockey developing here. But a turnover in the zone. Knox, he looks to go to the back door for Rouser. Rouser gave a chop through the slot, got away with it. And a hit from behind, he's going to get called. It's going to be Gustafson. Cameron Gustafson of Elk River. He's going to have a seat for two minutes for cross-checking. Shots read 20 to 10. West doubling up on the north so far. West shorthanded here on the four check. Being skated out there by Owen Wright. Owen Wright of, Ro of Moorhead. Pestered there by Blido of Andover. Shot from the slot coming, blocker save. Griswold, I'm sorry, Giswold, there's no R there, it's Giswold. Wide angle shot, held on, no trouble. Leha makes the stop and we'll get another defensive zone draw to Leha's left. Fitzgerald out of International Falls. He'd send it out to Zukov from Hermantown, but that was stopped there by Blido. West trying to clear, shock that goes wide. Back out to Zukov. He fans on his shot. And it's number seven, Dylan Knox, sending it all the way down for Andover. Oh, 
shifty move from Fitzgerald, bouncing puck through the slot. It's still loose. And a melee in front. That's Bart Olek, your head coach of the North team. Race for the puck. Stop there, played around by Ream. Eight seconds left in the Gustafson penalty. North with a last second chance on the power play. West full strength, point blank shoots, he scores! North has tied this one up, power play had just expired. But it is North making this a two to two game. Right on the doorstep, no trouble. Right as time it expired on the penalty. West was trying to clear the house. It's number 16, Olick, turning around, puts on the stick of Medlin and Medlin makes the berry. Quite the sequence down there behind the goal. Goaltender, or I'm sorry, it was the referee just Sliding the bat net back onto its pegs on the fly. Minute 49 left in the first half. We will have a resurface at the end of this first half. It'll give us about a 12 minute intermission or so. Nice sauce pass finds right. Right onto his forehand, block shot. And another one that deflects up into the netting. It's number 14, Trevor Hall with a nice block. Also there with another block was Rouser. Kukoski goes forward on the draw. This one picked up by Hall. Rouser had, had his pocket picked and on the back check by Logan House of Rock Ridge. Two players from Rock Ridge, House and Cruz Gretchner. Gretchner wearing number nine. Through the slot, shot, made of hit traffic. Don't think it got all the way through. 45 seconds left in this first half. This one's sent back behind the goal. Fielded there by Cogswell. And out in the center ice, we've got a break for Gustafson here in the final seconds. Shot also hit traffic on its way through. A break for North. Step there, successfully there from Cogswell. Cogswell. Blido takes a slap at it. Zukov feeding it forward. Loose puck through the slot. Six seconds left. Time for one last rush if West can get on it. And that will do it. Here for the first half of the 2010 championship. So we'll take a short pause. We'll be back with a fresh sheet of ice here from the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center in St. Cloud, Minnesota.
And here we are, the second half of the fifth and final game of the 2024 Minnesota Selects Hockey Festival up here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's Brett McKenzie up here in the press box with Luke Burmis. We also have Bennett McKenzie and Gavin Beckwith, our corner cam operators today. It's been a lot of fun, but we're not done yet. Two to two, North versus West, with 24-39 left on the board. Shots read 20, 25 to 17 in favor of the West. West wearing the white, representing the Air Force. They're working right to left across your screen. North representing the Army. They're wearing the black, and they are working left to right across the screen. Might have gotten away with an onside there. Oh, and he shoots, he scores! West making the most of it. And the referee felt that he had maintained possession on his way through. Right there, yeah, looks like he might have backed in before the puck, but he goes five hole and he pulls it in. Number eight for the West, that is Blake Miner, Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. West jumping up on top. Here's a quick save from the North goaltender. It's number 30, Ashton Lee out of Proctor. We've got a new goal goaltender over there in the West End as well. That is Nolan Johnson from St. Michaelville, Albert, St. Michael, Albertville. There's a break for Burmis, broken up at the last minute. Now it's Wright turning into two on one. Wright slides it over. Great back check there for Burmis. Loose puck in the slot. Finally dug out and skated away by number 12. Big time check and we are gonna get a penalty. This is a no checking tournament. Number 11, Rafe Giswold from Proctor. He goes to the bench, to the box, I should say. Two minutes for checking. He puts the West on top. Five skaters to four, power play for the West. Strong play there from number 11, Alex King. Now Gustafson. Gustafson feeds Rouser, Rouser. Down there in the corner for Gust. Back to Gustafson, back door for King, he just can't connect. Now King. Back to Gustafson. Now we've got a two-on-one shorthanded break. Kukowski, he's on his strong hand side, but he gets worked off. There, I believe that was number eight, Liner. Strong defensive effort. Now it's King. King feeds the center. Rouser, that one goes off the side of the net. Wraparound attempt, not on the mark. King, far side. Sent in through the center, 48 seconds left on the West power play. It's Gustafson. Goes short angle, blocker save. That one rings off the side of the goal. North tries to clear out into mid ice. No icing. Strong play. Catching up there with Branton, number nine for the West. Branton goes back door. Knocked away there by the North. 
no icing. Puck came out there, played by Johnson. Now we have Brian, Branson. Branson, pardon me. Played out by Christian. North full strength. Knox. He plays it up the wall. It's back to Knox. One timer from the slot. What a beautiful play by Knox. A quick give and go with Branson. Now a bouncing puck on the stick. Number four, that'd be Medlin, Zane Medlin from Duluth East. Lorilla. Was fielded by Olick. Now a wide angle shot it goes in off the boot of a West player. We've got a tie game. We'll see this one on the replay. I believe this may have gone in off the boot of Burmis. It did. It was sent in towards the center of the ice, caught Burmis right off the boot and ends up in the back of the net. So we have a tie game with 20 minutes and 10 seconds left in the second half. Here's Burmis going down hard. Donald out to the point. Long shot, blocker save. And a backdoor shot and a goal. Tyler Wick finds a yawning net on the back side. And just like that, it is four to three. West answering right away. Should get a better look at that here from center ice. It was O'Donnell sending it back door there for Wick. And just like that, West back on top. Zilmer, he retrieves. Puck play to wrap back around. It'll be there for not for Wick. It's pestered there by House from Rockridge on the four check. Fitzgerald also replying some pressure. Gustafson chases in down by the Zamboni door. There was Zilmer. Zilmer trying to go for the Zegris, flipping it up over the net. Now we've got a breakaway potentially here for number 15, Kukowski. He pulls it in, pad save. It gets stuck underneath there somewhere. Four three West, 18-28 left. Here in the second half. One time shot gets all the way through, he holds on. Icing. 
Nice breakout. It's going to be turned back there by Zukov. Up to Medlin. Medlin with speed. Speedy Zane Medlin out of Duluth East. Bouncing puck. Picked up there by Rouser. Rouser gains the line. Cuts in towards the middle. Still on it with his Rouser. Just can't reel it in to get the shot away. He cycles it back towards King. And now it's Zukov sending it across the zone, intending that to be in the area of Harlan Ream from Alexandria. Pressure there by Hardy. And the retrieval from Cogswell in the near corner by the West. West enter in onside, knifed away there by your goaltender Ashton Lee out of Proctor. Right, he finds a pass. King had lost his stick, he tried to kick it up there. Now it's right. King, another nice kick play. Kick play. Icing is the call. West, nice pull off the wall. They send it across, it's there for Christian. Looked good to me, but they call it offside. Looks like we're gonna have a center ice draw. O'Donnell versus Fitzgerald. North comes away with it, but it's peeled away there by Wick. Zomer. High stick played by the North player. Canceled there when White touches it up. It's Brandon White out of Sartell, not far from here. Burmis. Cutting in through the center, maintains control. Onto his forehand. He curls. Feeds the line. Shot coming. Glove save. Fritsch, Frisch, he played it behind himself. I understand that Frisch also has ties with both Huskies and North Dakota players. Over on the south rink during the consolation game, Tucker Dickerman was number 10 for that south team. His mother, head coach of the Minnesota State Mankato women's team. And she couldn't be here this weekend, reason being. She's also the assistant coach of the USA women's Olympic team. Tucker Dickerman's mom, getting it done down there with the Olympics. That was Trevor Hall of St. Cloud playing it down the wall. Pulled away there by Wick. Wick back off the, towards O'Donnell. Slap shot there. I believe that was Blake Miner. Coming out of the wall, it's Hill. 
Hill going back door, North able to clear it out. Still battling for it. Ends up on the stick of Harlan Ream. Now it's Medlin. He leaves it there. Medlin with a short angle shot. And we've got some transition hockey developing. No contest for Medlin's speed there though. Now it's Gustafson chasing it down. Snapped across to Ashworth. And chipped up off the wall. Sent back up, it's Rouser. Rouser with room. Shot, pad, save, rebound. Coming back towards the goal, but it's flushed away. Now it's right coming back the other direction as North has a three on two. Wright works around Gustafson, puts his shot off the side of the net. Back out to the point. North goes D to D to Zukov. Stopped there by King. And now it's North spinning around a shot that goes up over the goal and had gotten through off the stick of Owen Wright from Moorhead. Now it's Schmaltz from East Grand Forks singing it, bringing it over to Giswold. Now back to Zukov. Turnover in the zone. That one played up to right. Chase down there by Cogswell, but it was picked off. Goes back door, pad save. And he holds on to the rebound. Solid effort there from Nolan Johnson. Twelve fourteen left here. West on top, four to three. That one was tipped as it went through by Christian. Christian out of Elk River. Pulled back off the goal line. That one goes through the blue paint. Back out to the west line. Pulled in by Burmis. Burmis dangling through traffic. Takes a shot, goes wide. Picked up now by Kukowski. Out of Hermantown. Held on by Burgess. Burmis, pardon me. Fielded there by Ream. Now it's West coming out of the corner, going back door, shot, score! Blado makes this a two goal game, five to three.
All right, just working on a little camera swap there on the fly. We had one here in our fifth game that decided that, ew, it was ready to take a break. So that's why we have them hanging out in the wings. Under 10 minutes to play here. Now we have West taking a shot. Stopped there by Ashton Lee, goaltender for the North. North. Back up to right. He's going to chip it in. Play down in behind the goal. Back out to neutral ice. Zukov. He'll collect once again. Gets it up to right. Bouncing puck. Up off the glass. Back to Zukov. And he'll do it again, but it's a turnover. Now it's Gustafson one on one. Gustafson shot save. Nine minutes left here in the championship game, the 2010 boys. There's a pile up in front. Couple shoves here after the whistle. left of the game. Back to Knox at the line. Hester there on the inside wall. That's number nine. Greshner from Rockridge. He's applying the, applying the pressure. Schmaltz, East Grand Forks, he plays it up the wall. Getting that up to House from Rockridge. Now Kukowski tried to get around number seven, Dylan Knox, but Knox had other ideas. Now a three on one down low. Shot, save, rebound, goes just behind the net. And a melee back behind the goal. Players are up. Play continuing here on the opposite end. Shot come from the slot, glove save. 7.51 left in the game. West up by a pair. Goes up into the netting. We'll get a stoppage. Reem, he goes D to D. Knocked out in his center ice. Under seven and a half to play. North will start to take some chances here, needing a pair to tie this one up. Way offside, play continues. Shot, blocker save. Play along the far hash. Brought off the wall, but it's going to be Knox flushing it down. 
Zilmer goes in on the four check. Off the wall, but it goes right up in front. Lee does a great job holding on, making sure that puck didn't go out into the slot area. Shots 44-27 in favor of the West. West pouring it on here. Mentioned earlier in the broadcast that this is the only representation in a championship game from Team West. And they're showing themselves worthy. Burmis curls. Puts it off. There to Gustafson. Back off the wall, chased by King. Gustafson with it. He's pressured there by number six on the north. That's Lorilla from Moorhead. Back to Lorilla in neutral ice. Zone had not been cleared, so we'll get a neutral zone face-off here with 6.06 left in the game. North working it down low, tried to feed number eight. Owen right in the slot. Zukov, his shot, pad save. Brushed away there by Nolan Johnson, St. Michael Albertville goaltender. Zukov. Knocked away there by Giswold from Proctor. Gustafson seems to be all over the puck here today. And here comes a break potentially for North. Right feeding Giswold. It's a race. Back door on goal. The five hole shot. Stick save. Five ten left in the championship. West up by a pair, five to three. Icing is the call. Shot came off the stick of Greshner from Rockridge. Speedy Branson onto the outside. Backhand shot on goal, flushed away. Now here comes North. Number 16, Will Olick. Olick playing out of Duluth East. And some transition hockey. There's Branson. One time slap shot hits the post and away. Big one-time clap bomb finds the iron. Now North. It's House into the near side corner, battling there with Knox. House looking to go across the zone. Put in towards the goal, tipped high up over the goal. Knox battling for it. He's back, back there behind, behind the goal line. Out to the point, nice stop there by Reem. Reem from Alexandria. Now Blado. That'll be sent for icing. So the West will have a defensive zone draw over there to Johnson's right. Oh, 
And a quick save, we'll do it again. 3.33 left in this 3-5 game. North 31 shots on goal, West pushing 50, they've got 48. Nice head manning pass, finding Knox, or I'm sorry, that's Wick. Wick puts it off the back wall, fielded there by White. Out to the point. And it was through Cogswell and all the way down. Getting to the point here where any play that eats up some time, West is going to favor as they're under three minutes away from their only championship of the weekend. Puck played a line behind the goal. Giswold picking it up. Nice stop there by Knox. He plays it up to O'Donnell. Long range shot goes wide. Flex high into the air. And the puck is still down there in front of the Zamboni door. Wick, he finds it, spins around a shot, but it hit traffic. Now it's Gustafson. Centering pass. Flushed away there by the north defense. Turnover high in the zone. They call it an offside. One last hello to our north head coach, Bart Olek, Bluth East. And it looks like we're going to get a timeout called by the North. So we'll just leave that camera there and see you here in about 60 seconds for the final two minutes on 11 here at the Slex Festival in St. Cloud. left in the game. We'll keep an eye on that North goaltender, Ashton Lee. See if North gets an opportunity to pull him for an extra skater, get six on five out here on this big Olympic sheet in St. Cloud. And there he goes. Net is empty, and just like that, a shot comes in, it's Rouser, just misses the mark. And this will go for icing. Lee will come back onto the ice for the defensive zone draw. North sends the puck out. Lee headed back to the bench. West puts it off the glass and out in a neutral ice. Hardy plays it, but it was he had lost an edge there. That was number five. Fritsch. Crisis averted as Wright sends it out through neutral ice. Medlin now with it on his forehand. His shot goes wide. He didn't get all of it. Minute 19 left in the game. Pulled off by West. Four on three at the line. Burmis, his shot, hit a skate, no icing. Now 
Now out in shoot into neutral ice once more. Burmis gets his pocket picked. It's Medlin chasing. Giswold sends it in. Burmis, that one's tipped. But we have an icing. Forty-six seconds left. North needs a pair. North wins it. Zukov sending it back. That hit traffic on its way through. Net is empty in the north end. Back check there from Medlin. West tries to throw it towards the goal. Now one deflects, deflects high up into the air. It's Christian throwing it at the goal. Hill, he throws one at it. That one's blocked by Frisch. Now a long stretch pass. 20 seconds left, three on two, empty net, shot, goal. And that will ice it for the West Air Force. That was number 17, William Blado of Andover with the empty netter. Oh, it looks like we may have missed that one. That was. That was from a few moments ago. Well, either way, you know what an empty net goal looks like. 16 seconds left in the game. This one now six to three. And that does it. Final score here in the 2010 championship for the 2024 Minnesota Selects Festival here in St. Cloud. West earning its region, its only title here with its only berth here into, a cha into championship Sunday. It's been an absolute blast bringing these games here for you today. Want to give a big thank you to everybody who tuned in. We appreciate your support. Want to let you know that we will try to be here back next year. So for Luke Burmis, Ben McKenzie, and Gavin Beckwith, I'm Brett McKenzie. We'll see you next year.